now moving on to railway network in the railways we all know that yes roadways have various advantages less affordable cost in comparative to the railways but the transportation convenience is very good you can travel very fast when you're traveling for long distances most of the people prefer railway network that's the reason why in india the principal mode of transportation is railways railway network has been wide spread covering passengers on one side and the freight on the other side it has been transporting millions of people every day along with million tons of goods also every day so roadways have its own advantages but railways has been a key mode of transport for a common man to the com- costliest commodities also to be transported even animals which need to be transported from one corner to the other corner of the country used to be transported using the railways the other major advantages or the key factors for what we use railway network is the business trips any people who are having their business trips they move on to railways if anyone is having a sightseeing proposal they go on for railway network if anyone is planning for a pilgrimage they take the use of railway network and railways have been an integrating force from the past 150 years they have been integrating north to south east to far of the west where it has been a very difficult task for the roadways to connect yes there are some practical difficulties but still indian railways are making a remarkable role in order to gather all the indians in order to make possible for all the people to travel from one region to another region as comfortable as possible and moving on to understand the statistics of the indian railways indian railways are having nearly 7031 stations out of the 7031 stations they have a length of route length of the route covered for 63221 kilometers and then moving on to the number of locomotives what the indian railways own they are 7817 locomotives and in the among those 7817 locomotives we have passengers 5321 passenger services locomotives and 4904 coaches which are used for other services and we also have 170 wagons which is providing transportation of the goods from one corner to another corner and this is as per the statistics of the data available for us on march 31st 2004 in the railway budget but today it's a decade ago and now we are a decade ahead so the number might have been changed but still it shows for us how significant and how long and how important they are giving for the people and the public transport as well as for the goods transport and now the indian railways have been categorized into 16 zones whereas there are again certain issues for indian railways to develop that is the physiographic problems when it is located in a hilly region it is very difficult to lay a railway track there when it comes to the economic issues it has been a very costly affair to lay a railway track for 100 kilometers you need to have the entire length of the track to be built with the iron and steel blendings and all which is very costly and administrative convenience again we have the administrative issues coming under the category of state issues as well as the national borders and then we also have a large number of rivers in the north and the northeastern india which are been a serious obstacle because you need to build more number of bridges to have the fill the gap otherwise you cannot have the railway network there that has been a serious obstacle there hilly terrain regions when the hill slopes and terrain regions are coming it has been not possible to rail the railway tracks there sandy plains the sandy plains of rajasthan the sandy plains of gujarat it has been a difficult task to lay the sandy tracks on the sand plains and then mountain regions nearby to the mountain regions or far of the mountain regions also we find difficult because the mountain regions effects are putting it difficult that too in the western coast when we have the sahyadri mountain ranges it has been a very difficult task and it has been a very very complicated task to complete the konkan coast the konkan zone of railway zone which has been laid and then the issue of uh, difficulty of connecting people from the west of to the upper to the lower part of the west i mean like north to the northwest and southwest it has been a very difficult task later 
they were able to lay it down and it has made the transport very easy for the people available there and then we also have the landslides happening when the land is weak and slides happen that make the tracks to sink down that is another major difficult task and the major other issues though railways has been successful to a very large extent even today many people travel in the railways without tickets which has been a huge and huge loss economically for the indian railways and we also have thefts and damaging the indian railway property where people do not feel that it is their property we feel that it is somebody else property and they start to damage that one and we also have a bad habit of pulling the chain of the railway net train which is running to stop that one and they get on wherever they need these are some of the issues which has to be ascertained and taken seriously and we need to inculcate the habit that government property is nothing but public property which means our own property we are not doing anything benefit for other people by safeguarding our public property this kind of attitude and culture has to be developed and indian railways has been a major transport system for all the indians from north to south and east to west with various number of locomotives with integrating force it is acting like a bonding force between various people and we have the freights passengers all using the railway network we have also have various issues like people traveling without ticket theft and damaging security issues are also coming up nowadays in the trains and we also have the habit of people pulling the chains and stopping the trains wherever they want these all have to be questioned seriously and we need to inculcate a good system of culture so that we can have safe and also uh, earn profits for indian railways if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus